Filmed years ago, on a dark day in October, Michael captures something truly bold, chilling inside his own house. As the video starts, Michael fills us in, making sure we know he's the only one home. He's been hearing strange noises like someone stomping down the stairs for the past 10 minutes. Michael, understandably scared out of his wits, opens the bathroom door adjacent to the staircase, hoping to discover the cause of this haunting. But to his surprise, there's nothing there. It's a dead end. Quite literally. This video was published in 2012, and since then, Michael has uploaded more videos, seemingly moving forward from this terrifying encounter. We can only hope that he's doing okay, and that the spirits that once haunted his home are now a thing of the past. Could this be a fake? If it is, it's a pretty darn good one. Ответь мне, кто ты? A couple days ago, I posted a video about a possible alien sighting at Bayside Marketplace in Miami. I will leave a card at the end of this video if you are interested in seeing it. Shadowy aliens, conspiracy theories, are saying a big creature could be seen standing in front of the entrance to the shopping area, Bayside. Today, the phrases Miami Mall and Aliens of Miami have been among the top 10 searches on Twitter's trending tab. Twitter, of course, now called X. And Google News even has several reports questioning the event. So to give a quick rundown, on New Year's Day of this year, a heavy police presence was there in what they thought was an active shooter situation. The official narrative, however, was that a large group of teenagers were fighting and lighting fireworks. Rumors speculated about why the heavy presence of force, and a couple days later people started sharing their experience about seeing three, eight to ten foot tall aliens warping in and out of existence. Then, clips on TikTok started to emerge. I literally have been getting interrogated by the Miami Police Department for days, my dude. I look, look at me. <laughs> They asked us, first they asked us what we saw. It was me, two of my cousins, and one of my homegirls. All three of us being basically locked. I ain't trying to get in trouble or nothing like that, but I'm just telling y'all, man. This shit is so real, man. Like, everybody saw it. 
there will be more reports coming out. There will be more reports coming out on this, man. But I just want to go on record and speak my truth. You know, they asked us not to speak about it. Any any blog site, any news site, anybody who wants to talk to me, please get in my DM, man. Because that's the only way I would tell my whole truth. But I just want to let y'all know, man. Aliens are real. So, man, y'all get this video to where it need to be, and I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to go crazy. Oh, man. One person of interest I wanted to highlight here, Lil Too Much 702, because he had another clip that I missed, and it could possibly be an eye opener for some of us. Here it is. There looks to be a large shadowy figure panning in the background. Could this be one of the ten feet tall aliens that some of the eyewitnesses claim to have seen? As the news is fairly still new, I'd hope to see more details on this incident in the future. I'm walking out the store, about to get in my car, and somebody said, this dude walked out of me and he said, hey, in due time, the truth will show. And I looked at him, then I looked at his car. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you're not finna come up to me saying that stuff like that, and you got a fucked up car. So I looked at him, then I looked at his car, he's driving a Benz. Like, I'm like, he doesn't look like he's a dirty man. And I said, all right, thanks, man. Enjoy the rest of your night. On a dark night in France, a group of friends were driving around, hoping for a fun adventure. Little did they know, their evening was about to take a chilling turn. Mais 
Oh, ça tombe, c'est quelqu'un. Wow. C'est quoi ça Non. Eh, mais elle est psychopathe la gonzesse. Attends. Elle était dans le virage. Elle, ouais, elle était là. Wow, mais c'est pas. Ouais, elle est dans le chemin. Vas-y, viens, on va voir. Vas-y, viens, on va voir. Vas-y, vas-y. Everything seemed normal at first, but then, in the blink of an eye, something strange appeared. It was a woman, dressed in a white gown, standing right in the middle of the road. Friends were overcome with fear, their hearts pounding in their chests. In a moment of panic, they decided to turn the car around to investigate further. But when they looked back, the woman had vanished into thin air. Was she the spirit of a deceased woman trapped in this haunted spot? Or was it all just an elaborate trick? Unfortunately, the answer to this puzzling mystery remains elusive. Oh, 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 hey, mec, quoi? Quoi? Oh, quoi? Hey, mec, c'est quoi ça? C'est quoi? Oh, putain, oh, stop! Tenez tout! Tenez tout! Tenez tout! Damn, man. People gotta learn to slow down. Lucky they didn't hit none of these tombstones. Real lucky. Hello? You alright? You okay? What the hell? What's going on here? There ain't nobody there. Miss? Hello? In an exciting event, the Congress in Mexico recently had its second meeting dedicated to studying unidentified flying objects and mysterious Peruvian mummies with three fingers. This meeting, which followed an initial gathering in September, included various experts and researchers who affirmed the authenticity of the mummies without confirming whether they came from extraterrestrial beings. The initial videos that will go as I the Jamie Morrison, a journalist from Mexico and a big believer in UFOs, played a significant role in this session. He believes that the mummies discovered near Peru's ancient Nazca lines do not match any known life forms on Earth. Talking about the tridactyl beings found in Peru and the discovery of two entirely new species. I want to highlight the studies of these tridactyl beings in, found in Peru, as well as the exposition of two new, entirely new species. The focus of this meeting was to provide evidence that these mummies were once living organisms. Anthropologist Roger Zuniga from San Luis Gonzaga National University in Ica, Peru, presented his findings during the session. Zuniga, along with other university researchers, has spent the past four years studying five similar specimens. Their conclusion is clear. These mummies are real. Zuniga, while presenting a letter signed by 11 university researchers, clarify that their findings do not suggest an extraterrestrial origin for the mummies. However, these sessions have not been without controversy. Many experts dismiss Morsan's claims as a publicity stunt, pointing to previous studies on similar remains that concluded they were made up of a combination of animal and human bones. But Zuniga differentiated the specimens he studied from these potentially fake examples, standing by the authenticity of his findings. In a noteworthy development, Congressman Sergio Gutierrez from President André Manuel López Obrador's ruling Marina Party proposed legal reforms in Mexico to ensure public access to all UFO-related information. Do we have uh, a bunch of iconographical evidence, not even in Peru, not only in Peru but in the rest of America, that represent these beings, these tridactyl beings, with the characteristics that have these beings that are, that are in the university? To add an interesting twist to the serious discussion, Argentine surgeon Celestino Adolfo Piotto suggested that these beings might be an evolved form of modern humans, referring to them as our descendants. Mexican rapper Claudio Yarto also made an entertaining contribution 
by sharing his personal UFO sightings and ending it with a poetic rhyme that received applause from the audience. And truly, we are at an oasis in the universe, and I do think that these, these guys are just are just waiting for us to destroy ourselves to be able to take this place. Overall, this session in the Mexican Congress brings attention to the increasing interest in debates surrounding UFOs and related phenomena merging the realms of science, speculation, and pop culture. While the true nature of these Peruvian mummies remains unknown, the discussion they have sparked continues to captivate public attention. Watch until the end. Real or fake? February 2018, in Vietnam, a group of young people went fishing in Ma Trang Lagoon at night. After a while removing the fish caught in the net, they discovered that there was a silver ring stuck to the net. The young man was observing the bracelet when a hand reached out and pulled him under the water. Some people thought it was just a fake video, but after taking a closer look at the video they discovered it was indeed a raised hand with a black face and bright eyes hidden under the water. This hand performs the action very quickly, only when slowing down the video can be clearly seen. This young man was later successfully rescued by others after he had drunk a full stomach of water. Watch until the end. This is what happens whenever I put her near my daughter's old cabbage patch toll. But that's not the weirdest part. There's no batteries. But wait there's more. I even cut the wire to see if that would stop it. Is she causing this?
in a spy and chilling video posted on TikTok by a user named Monikita Official, a woman experiences a moment of sheer terror. Video begins with a woman panicking and moving around anxiously, seemingly afraid of something lurking outside. The videographer then approaches the window, handing the camera to the terrified woman. As she films what's happening outside our worst fears are confirmed. In the distance a pair of glowing red eyes stares back at the TikTok user, causing her to scream in panic and fear. The video abruptly ends, leaving us with burning questions. What happened to this frightened woman and her family? Did she seek help from the authorities? The identity of the mysterious presence with those chilling red eyes remains unclear, amplifying the fear. We can only hope that she took the necessary precautions and called for assistance. However, we must consider the possibility that this video could be a deceptive hoax.